Do you get frustrated coloring faces? Today, I'm sharing my top three tips for coloring faces, and be sure to watch to the end for a bonus tip. For anyone who's new here, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome to my studio. I've been a professional artist for over a decade and earned a master's in art history in Florence, Italy. Today, I'm using Pan Pastels and Prismacolor pencils, but I'll put links to all the art supplies in the video description for you. Tip number one, figure out the lighting first. That means you should know where the light is coming from in the image. That will determine where you can start blocking in the shadows. You need shadows and highlights for a three-dimensional look and a more realistic face. When you first start coloring in the shadows, it's okay to leave the white of the paper in the lightest, brightest areas of the face. And if you want to color this particular face and color along with me, which would be fabulous, you can download this page today at the link in the video description. Also, I'll list the exact colors I'm using in the video description for you as well to reference. Speaking of colors, here's tip number two. Embrace different colors in skin tones. Sure, we all think of browns and peaches when coloring a face, but don't be afraid to experiment with other colors. Try to push shadows with blues or violets. Those cool hues will be a lovely contrast to any warm colors you use. And, speaking of warm colors, have you tried adding crimson red around the eyes or the tip of the nose? How about strong, vibrant pinks or oranges in the cheeks and chin? If you're nervous about experimenting with color, remember you can always test them beforehand on a scrap piece of paper. Tip number three. The way you apply color matters. For example, with colored pencils, I try to apply color in small circles and don't press down hard with the pencil. That way, the color goes on smooth so you don't see pencil lines and the colors blend together smoothly as well. Then you can go back to add more layers of color on top for strong color saturation. And for the bonus tip, remember a face doesn't just float in a void. There are other things to consider. The way hair falls over the face, the shape and color of the eyebrows. Are the lips the same shade as the cheeks or a very different color entirely? Remember to keep playing and testing your techniques. And that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. And as always, stay creative.